Hello users. In this series of getting started with Breeze API, we bring to you the third video in the series how to place an order. So to start with the same, you can download Anaconda Navigator which is freely available on the internet. Once it's downloaded, we open Anaconda Navigator and launch the Jupyter notebook and wait for it to load. Now we click on the new option and select the option folder. We locate our newly created folder with the time that is seconds. We open it and create a new notebook. We will wait for it to load. Now side by side we will open our breeze documentation so as to take a reference of all the codes from where to get started. Now we will wait for the notebook to load. and rename our notebook with the name we want to give it. Then we'll start by entering the code 1 which is to install Breeze. We will copy it from the documentation and paste it in the notebook. We will click on run to let it run in the notebook. Meanwhile, we will copy the second code which is to import the Breeze Connect libraries. As we can see, I have already installed Breeze on my laptop, so I have got the prompt requirement already satisfied. For the first time users, this is a mandate. For the users who are using it, after once will not be required to use this code. The second code is to import the libraries. After that, we will initialize our SDK and copy the code as shown in the documentation. We now need to enter our API key which we can access from our login page in the view apps option. The app that we want to login into, we will copy its API key and paste into the code syntax and also will enter the newly generated session key and click on run. Now we will proceed with the further coding which is to get the customer details. We will copy its code from the documentation and execute it. As we can see we get a detailed customer detail after using this code. Now we use the get funds option to understand how much funds we already have to conduct our transactions. As you can see, I have allocated equity of 200 rupees and so I want to add more to be able to buy more. So I will use the function set funds and I will make a minor change of changing debit to credit as I want to add balance into my account. I will enter the amount, enter the segment equity and click on run. My balance has been added with the 200 additional rupees which I can check again by using the get funds option. As we can see on the screen, my account now has 400 rupees, 200 additionally that I've added right now. Now we will proceed with placing an order. I want to place an order for Bhail company. Order type will be market. And I have successfully placed an order as you can see on the screen. Now I want to check my portfolio positions. So I will copy paste the command from the documentation and click on run. As you can see it clearly shows how my portfolio looks like after making a purchase. Now I want to sell this order. I will use the same code to sell my order I will just make a minor change of changing buy to sell and click on run 
as you can see it has been successfully conducted the order that i placed is now sold now i want to check my portfolio position again i will use the same code click on run as you can see i have successfully made a sale now we will save the file with the name that we want to be able to come back to the same notebook again when we want to so in this video we have learned how to place an equity order how to sell how to understand the portfolio positions our customer details get our funds and set new funds in the coming videos we will learn about more functionalities of vis api thanks for watching investments in securities market are subject to market risks read all the related documents carefully before investing the contents herein above shall not be considered as an invitation or persuasion to trade or invest i seek and affiliate accept no liabilities for any loss or damage of any kind arising out of any actions taken in reliance thereon investors should consult their financial advisors whether the product is suitable for them before taking any decision api facilities are offered to the clients as per the terms and conditions to be agreed by the client